Hi, my name is Tony Fowler, and recently Dr. David and I were having a wonderful talk about the power of our words, and he asked me to share a few things with you today. Do you realize your words absolutely establish your world? Somehow scientists claim that no words are ever lost. If we speak them into the atmosphere, they remain with us forever. Think about that a minute. Have you ever walked into a home and felt something like tension or strife? And then you go into another home and you feel peace and love. Do you know those atmospheres are predominantly created by the words that are spoken there? It makes you wonder why we would continually nag a spouse or children and reinforce the very negative behavior that we despise. You know, so often parents say to their children, you are such a whatever it is that they can't stand. Well, that just completely labels them and tells them who they are to be. Try encouraging them anytime they show any sign of doing something right that they normally struggle with. Say your husband is late four out of five times. The time he's not, celebrate it. Thank him, notice it, tell him how much you appreciate it. People strive to be what our good words are and they run from and despise us when we speak negative and put that on them and label them with that. When my kids do something that I don't like, the main thing I say to them is that's not who you are. I remind them of the opposite quality that we are attempting to cultivate in this home and tell them instead that is who they are. Like if my little guys are picking on my little girls and they get upset and they're crying, I say, hey, that's not who you are. You're a protector. You're a nurturer. You make our girls feel safe and you make them safe. And that's what I try and speak to my kids. And whenever they speak something that's not what I want to happen in our home and in our life, we all try and arrest that with each other because we know our words actually create our worlds. You know, my oldest son, Josh, has always teased me that I live in a bubble and that my bubble is so much sweetness compared to the rest of the world that I don't even know reality. Well, believe me, I know reality. But I had a girlfriend back in college who used to always tell me that my word was sweet. I identified everything as sweet or not sweet. But in being that way and looking for the sweet, that is what my life is consumed with. And I have a really sweet life. And I would say I have as many trials as anybody else, if not more. But my life is really sweet because that's what I look for and cultivate and talk about. And so that's what I have. Rick Warren talks about how our life is like a railroad track and one side is made up of the good and one is the hard stuff. And you know, whatever we focus on is what begins to fill our picture because we all have good and bad going on at the same time. Your words literally have the power like magic to create your world. You know, faith and doubt are the same power. They have the same degree of power in our lives, but faith activates the good things to happen for us, where doubt literally releases the negatives to flow in our life. Your words are like a written prescription, placing an order with the universe. Guard them diligently and be aware of what you order for your world. And for more on how to love your life and make it what you want it to be that you are at peace with, please see my blog, themothersheart.wordpress.com.